Hello again. You know normally work on my own. I've never got an assistant and I've never got no friends. Uh, I've got no family around. Well, firstly, I can't afford an assistant. Second, I've got no friends. And the family, well, as soon as I pick a pack of cards up, they're away. Luckily enough, I've found two good people to help me today. Lucy and Peter. Right, I've got Lucy, as in Lucy Lastig. No, okay. And I've got Peter the Magic Paperclip. He is magic. He's so magic, he's even got his own wizard's hat. So I've got Lucy Lastig and Peter the Magic Paperclip to help me do this trick. And of course, your good selves. Now what I need is you to pick a card out of this packet. So we'll just give them ooh, a shuffling up. I'm trying to do this so it's a pretty messy one, so I'm calling cards from here then anyway. Right. So we've given the cards a bit of a shuffle. Now I just need you to pick a card. And you want to go for that one. Okay. Now I do not want to know what this card is. So in my usual fashion, once I, once, once I spin it, once I spin it, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. I'll show you it and I'll turn it around. So I turned around and I'm showing you the card. I want you to look at the card, remember the card. Please remember your card. Do not forget it. It's gone. Right, so hopefully you've remembered what your card is. Because your card is now getting lost somewhere into the middle of this packet. So it's completely and utterly gone. And if you don't think that's gone enough, what I'll do is I'll even give them another shuffle. Just to make sure that it's well mixed up. And you want another one? Okay, why not? We'll give them another shuffle. Now, during that shuffle, without you realising, I actually moved your card. Well, within the bottom four cards. Definitely within the bottom four. I'm going to show you the four cards. And don't tell me if it's yours. We've got the King of Clubs. We've got the Two of Clubs. We've got a Ten of Diamonds, and we've got a Nine of Clubs. So now one of these four cards is yours. And because we've seen them getting put down, we know what order they're in. And that means I know what order they're in, and that's just no good. So we'll just give them a bit of a mixing, and we'll put them down. Now we say one of these four cards is your card. I don't know which one it is. You don't know which one it is, but you know it's one of them. Right, now, Lucy, come here, girl. I'm going to do something a bit strange with you, Queen. I'm going to stick you between Peter's legs. Oh, his hat fell off. I'll put his hat there. So we just put Lucy between Peter's legs. Now, Peter, are you ready, sir? Go and do your stuff. Now, Peter, on his own initiative, is going to locate your card. As you can see, he's moving across the card. He's thinking about number one. But no, he doesn't think so. He's getting away from that pretty quick. He's coming up to number two. Really stop at two. No, again, he's speeding. He's speeding past the halfway. He's not happy with two. And in case you think I'm doing something with the elastic, I'll even stick him up that way. And let's see what he does. We're still moving up, ain't he? I hope you can see that. He's still moving up. Mate, yeah, he's stopping. He has. I think he's stopped. Do you think so? Should we wait another five minutes and see if he actually moves? No, you're happy with that. Okay, so he's actually stopped. Look at that, right in the centre of that card. Right. So let's see. He eliminated. The two of clubs. And he eliminated the king of clubs. In the process of not even getting to, he said no to the ten of diamonds as well. Which means this middle card, the only one left, just has to be your card, the nine of spades. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all again soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed that performance. Uh, it's a very easy trick. 
very easy, very beginner. Um, a lot of you probably won't even have stuck around to see this bit, unless you're a bit of a sad person like myself. Anyways, there's loads of different ways you can do it. The basic idea is get them to pick a card, lose it in the middle of the pack, and then show them three or four cards that you put them down. And one of them ends up being theirs, but you don't show theirs going down, so either a double lift or a um, second deal or a bottom deal, whatever you prefer, whatever way you want to do it. I'll just go through it the way I do it. What you need is an elastic band, obviously cut. The longer you can get it, the better. Because it saves it, because when you look at an elastic band, it looks like that thick. When you stretch it, it looks like that. So the longer you can get, the better. Because you can stretch it a hell of a long way and it won't look weird or anything. Anyway, along with that, you need a paper clip. Hello, Peter. The little wizard's hat, well, that's optional. You don't have to use that. You do need a pack of cards, though. Now, the way I done it was I got the top card, put a crimp in it going up. Bottom corner, where the index is not. A little crimp in it. Then I took one, two, three, and four cards, put the crimp on the top of them, and put them on the bottom. Now, I know it looks weird, but that's the way I do it. Either that, or we've got to get a four card pull down. This is for when I'm doing the Faro Shuffle. Where yeah, the Faro Shuffle? Where, where are you going? The Hindu Shuffle. That's why I have the little break there. For when I do the Hindu, I can just pull down on them cards to keep them where they are. Because I'll tell you that when I get to it. Anyway, you get them, them to pick a card. I don't shuffle to the beginning, but I had to make sure that they stayed where they were. So it's just a case of letting them flop. Just before you pick the pack up, you let them flop into your hand, take up the cards from there, and shuffle. Flop, pick up, and shuffle. It is angle sensitive though, so you've got to make sure that that hand is covered on the side. So when you drop it, they can't see it. Then as soon as you're picking them cards up, them two packs are together. That keeps that bottom stock. That's the way I don't shuffle. Anyway, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Choice is completely yours. Then you get them to pick a card. Any card, completely free choice. Doesn't matter what one they pick. You let them see it. You do not see it. If you see it, it blows the entire trick because then you then know that you have not put that chosen card down. So you don't see it. You get it put into the middle of the deck. What I don't was just control it from there straight up to the top using my nice little favourite move. In the side, push in on an angle, flick it out, little finger, first finger, bend it down, pull it up, and it's done. So I've just moved up there, four of hearts, up onto the top. Now when I came to do the Hindu, as I say, I just pull down at that break, pull every card, except for the top one. So that that top card, which is theirs, then goes down into fifth from bottom place. Then you just carry on with your Hindu. Oh, stop that. Behave yourselves. Get in line, gentlemen. Now, if you want to do another one, you do it again. Look at that, I missed it. What happened there? One, two, three, four. I don't know what those. Because you've just got rid of. You've done it from underneath. This is what always told me doing this. Because you got it from underneath, your crimped card. Your crimped card will move. Don't be surprised when you see it in the middle of the deck and think, ah, like I just did then, I've hooked the trick up. You haven't because you've still got the four cards and then their card on the bottom. So if you want to do another Hindu, just pull down a chunk of cards at the bottom. Make sure you're covering the bottom five cards. So as many as you want to pull down, just slide a chunk out and then do another Hindu on the top. Like that, that was a better one. Then you say you've worked their card forth to the bottom, or rather, I say I've worked their card to forth from the bottom. Show them the bottom card, two of clubs, not yours. Peel off the two of clubs. Put it down. King of clubs. These are the same ones I had in the bloody performance, aren't they? King of clubs. This is the ten of dimes, I go sick. No, the nine of spades. Ah, that was the chosen card the last time. That goes down. So you've got three cards down. You show the ten of diamonds. You glide their card out. You know what a glide is. Just very quickly, all you're doing is pulling that card down with your fingers so you can get to the, the four just to slide that out and then you square them back up again. So you've got all four cards out and the last card you know is theirs. 
what I done then was a shuffle. I just took the top card, the second card, the third card, and the bottom. So just reverse the order. Then just one and two, and throw them on. That puts their card second to top. One and two, that puts their card second to bottom. As long as you can remember the, where the card's going to, do whatever kinds of shuffles you want to. And you just put the card down in a line, remembering which one is theirs. You get your elastic, put it into your hand, just have a little piece of it sticking out. And you take your helpful little helper, the paper clip, put it in, let so much of the elastic come out and then stretch it. So it looks like you just pulled the elastic out your hand. Then all you've got to do is release the grip on this side, very slowly, just so the elastic pulls through your hand. I'll move it back a bit so it's over the mat. The elastic just moves out your hand slowly. And it looks like the paper clip's moving all on its own. And you can even put it up on an angle. And it'll still carry on moving. No matter how steep you get the angle. You're still moving up. And then when you get over the, the desired card, you don't do that. Always make sure you have enough elastic in your hand to allow for it to spread to where you want it to go to. You will be able to work that out by judgment after doing it once or twice. Once it gets over the selected card, crumple everything up. Don't just let it go because then they'll see that the elastic was stretched. So do it pretty quick and pull this hand over the top to cover everything. So it looks like you just grab the elastic and put them down. Reveal that card, reveal that card, reveal that card. Then you reveal that card. Oh, I've got back cramping my fingers. I couldn't do this before, could I? There we go. And you reveal their card. That's how easy it is. Kids play. Give it a bit of practice. Work your own way out how to get them to pick a card and get it to wherever you want to get it to, to get it to wherever you want to get it to. I'm going to amaze some people. I'll see you again soon. This has gone on bloody too long again, hasn't it? I'll see you again soon. I'm getting off quick.